Welcome to Dunolphin on Fishing. Uh, it's the middle of May and I'm on uh, Flaming Gorge Reservoir and uh, I'm finally able to to go after some of my favorite fish which are the smallmouth bass and I'm going to actually do a three-part series um, just in the next week or so about uh, various spring tactics to uh, to catch smallmouth and I, just as a disclaimer, I'll tell you right now that I, I pray that none of you that takes any of this information would want to keep a smallmouth bass from, from uh, Flaming Gorge to eat because the smallmouth bass population has been practically decimated by, by uh, the introduction, the illegal introduction of the burbot. And they're competing for the forage base in the, uh, in the lake and smallmouth bass has come up on the short end of it plus they they are predated upon in the winter time when they're a little bit lethargic by the very aggressive burbot but the uh, the uh, today we're going to talk about square bill crankbaits I've got a representation here this happens to be a lucky craft uh, 2.5 um, in a red craw pattern and and um, and I I like this in the springtime because it just kind of fires up the fish a little bit and um, so today uh, you're going to see, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, some fish in the boat and, uh, and uh, all of them coming on a crankbait. And, um, and then I'm going to be talking about jerk baits, and then I'm finally going to be talking about tubes. So and tube jigs uh, in springtime bites. So uh, please enjoy today's episode and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some good fish in the boat to show you. Thanks for watching. Well, I just barely cast it in, got the first fish. Looks like a really nice small mouth. Probably a three pounder. See if I can get it over here and, and get it into the boat. It's hard to have you see that fish. There we go. Look at that. Look at that baby, would you? I just hit a red crankbait. I like to on overcast days, I really like a red crankbait to start. But look at that fish there. That's a very, very good three pound um, smallmouth bass. Uh, just been out for about five minutes this morning. It's a little bit, um, not a little bit, it's a lot overcast today. But uh, what a nice fish to start the day. Just get this fish back in the water. There he goes. Beautiful smallmouth bass. All I'm doing is fishing a point. Um, this uh, early in the morning. This is a, this is a secondary point. Um, coming back to the back of a major bay and cove. And uh, the whole purpose here is to see how far the fish are coming back to get into their spawning grounds. There we go. There we go, right at the boat. That baby came up right at the boat. There we go. What a nice fish. Now that one isn't quite as large. That's only about two and a half pounds. But uh, very, 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 very good fish. Actually, it's probably just about two pounds. But what a fine fish. And it just came up and grabbed that thing right as it was coming out of the water. So. That's why they're called smallmouths. Look at that little mouth there compared to a large mouth. Let's just get that baby back in the water. Please, you please. Great, great release. They are eating up. They're 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 eating, getting ready to the, for that period that they won't eat while they're spawning. So this is definitely a pre-spawn bite, and uh, is just a lot of fun, a lot of fun.
There we go. Now see that one? That was a great fish. Oh, it came off. Oh my gosh. What a nice fish. But that was that was one of those fish that came that hit just as I was coming out of some grass. So I'm gonna I'm hopeful that the key I'll keep this one into the video because that was a nice three pounder. I don't know whether the camera caught caught the fish, but uh, Well, there's another nice fish. Just barely got it hooked. Barely got it hooked. I'm gonna try to, to get it. There he got off. That's okay. That fish was barely hooked, but it was exactly where it should be, right on a point. There's another one. That's another good one. That's a good fish there. Same size as the last one that came off. Another just under three pound fish. Just beautiful, beautiful fish. Fantastic. Here we go. Oh, come on, baby. Come on in, baby. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. That's a dandy. Another, another three pounder right there. Sorry about that camera angle. There it is, beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous fish. Well, there you go. Well, I decided to, uh, to film this uh, back in my garage. Thanks again for watching uh, Don Alfin on Fishing today. Uh, today's episode was specifically for um, showing you how to throw a square bill crankbait and, um, and early in the spring and even on into summer. At times when the fish are up feeding on, on uh, points and to some extent uh, rocky flats, um, you can throw a square bill crankbait and just catch the living daylights out of the fish. Um, now it was very overcast when we, when we started uh, filming and then it just got crystal clear uh, everything was, was uh, all the clouds went away and the bite changed. So while um, uh, the, um, uh, we had low clouds and while we had a little bit of actual rain and, su and stuff like that, then the, um, the red crankbait worked really, really well. Um, if it's bright, clear weather, you can go to a shad color, you could go to a, uh, to a uh, what I call a rock crawler something that's going to look like a crawdad but is not necessarily red and uh, that'll work a little bit better on bright sunny days anyway thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um, um, i sure appreciate you you watching and um, we'll catch you next time <laughs>